this is probably the biggest mistake you can make in your resume and if you are making this mistake trust me 99% of the times you will see a rejection from the employers. So what is this mistake and how do you go ahead and avoid it? Now guys, this is a very simple mistake. I'm gonna take you to my screen and I'm gonna be telling you exactly what the employer thinks. All right, think from the employer's perspective when you're evaluating this resume and you will see the mistake come out. And it's more common than you think. It happens everywhere. I've seen freshers make this mistake and I've seen experienced professionals make this mistake as well. So in this video, we're going to ensure that you do not make this mistake. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's take you to the resume over here. If you can see, it's a pretty simple resume. I have kept it very, very simple. I have not added a lot of text. This is just sample text. What this person might have done at this company. You know, it's not really a great format. I know, but that's not the mistake I'm talking about in this video. If you look in a little bit deeper, the first thing you will find is that, all right, they're looking for a telecalling position and they have been a telecaller recently, but it's the 5th of March today. If you, if you know the date when I'm making this video, it's the 5th of March today. And they actually started their position on the 10th of February, last position. And they're actually, actually in that position right now. And they are changing jobs already. All right. Maybe they did not like something over there, or maybe the company is letting them go. There may be several reasons for this, but it's imp important for the employer to know why you're leaving this company. All right. First off, because you haven't even been there for a month. Secondly, you were an insurance seller before that, you were an SEO specialist before that, video editor before that, and some other kind of editor before that. So it just doesn't make sense for an employer, let's say, to hire you as a telecaller when you barely have any experience in the field. And it's okay to not have experience. Hey, maybe you have done some exp uh, internships in the past, right? But in this case, this person has been going from one field to the other every few months. And trust me, I get, I got a call a couple a couple days back from a person who was interested in working with us, and he said, "Hey, look, I have three months of experience as maybe a content writer, three months of experience as a developer, and now I want to be a video editor. So I I'm, I'm applying for the new position. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is that this person is gonna be with me for three months, and then they're gonna leave, because they're not certain about what they want to do. So." Try to avoid that, try to avoid that. Or even if you have something like that on your resume, have a good reason why you are changing fields. Let them know why uh, in the about me section itself, why you are switching to telecalling. Why do you think it's your calling? And I'm just giving you a sample. You may not be interested in telecalling at all, but this is just a sample. All right. So let's also talk about the timelines. Look at this person's timelines. He has worked for less than a month over here, maybe a little more than one month over here, right? Maybe less than two months, right? And then this is also maybe three, four months. So every single time you will see that this person has been changing jobs in three or four months. This is the biggest mistake you can make. And you know, freshers make this, this mistake all the time. They want to show a lot of experiences. So they'll do three, four, five internships in their college years. And then when the employer asks them about the length of the internship that they did, they'll say two months each. And that is actually going to leave a pretty bad impression. Okay, and it's fine even in internships at least, you know, you can say that, hey, look, I was trying things out. I just wanted to figure myself out. And, and now that I've done that, I know that I want to be a telecaller or a developer, you know, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, if you're doing this when you are doing job, let's say your first job was for five months, the next one was for three months, next one for one year, but after that two months, and then you're applying for another position, the employer is not going to be very, very keen on hiring you. Trust me on that because they, every single time someone hires you, they have to invest a certain amount in training you as well. Of course, when you come to the, uh, to a new place, you're not set out for all the work that you have to do. They still have to train you no matter how much experience you have. They still have to tell you a little bit more about how things work at this new place. Right. And th the cost of that, it's not going to be getting, basically the employer is not going to be getting a return in one or two months. That's for, for sure. Try to avoid this mistake. I mean, this is a very common mistake that a lot of people can make. And I've seen experienced professionals make this because I interview people on a daily basis. So I know that a lot of people make this mistake, but I would say that if you just avoid this mistake, your, your chances of getting that interview call or even getting to that interview in the first place are increased at least tenfold. All right. And this also applies for someone who is in the US, Canada. If you're studying over there and you're looking for a job, don't do positions that you don't wish to continue later on. Don't just go into positions and just leave in one or two months. Either don't go or when you go, be sure about it and 
definitely try to spend at least one or two years over there. At least one or two years, I'm saying. You know, it can be even four or five years. I've seen that's that's a very good sign, and employers love love to see if you know you have stuck with a company for three, four years or more, because then they know that this person is serious, and they they like to invest in the growth of the company, and they like to believe in the company, right? So, all right, I hope that this video gives you the impetus to go ahead and change your resume a little bit if you're making this mistake, and. I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that helped you in this video because I know that a couple of people are making this mistake. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel. See me on Instagram if you'd like to connect. And goodbye, take care.